and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code Poodle at checkout for 20% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team Video Guide. Today, I'm going to be going over the Madden market. Now, as you guys know, one of the uh, one of the staples on this channel, going over the market. You guys typically love these videos, guys. Now, I have a pretty good day plan for you guys. I have three solid videos, as well as a fourth solid one later, later tonight. Which is kind of special video that you're probably going to see once a year on everyone's channel. Going to be really, really cool when the time just comes. So, we'll go over that as the time comes, guys. But for the time being, we're going to go over the Madden market today's video. We do have really good 1030 content today, as you guys will see. You guys have, oh, at this point, you've already seen it. So, it was the LTD Khalil Mac. If you haven't checked out that video, make sure to go check that out. We don't typically get content on Sundays, but when we do, it's pretty, pretty cool because it's something to look forward to, considering a Sunday, we don't always get stuff just like that. But, guys, as you guys know, it's still the 25 days of poop miss. We still have today the 29th, tomorrow the 30th, the 31st. We have all those days still left to so still go out on a banger and keep getting this, keep going strong. So, have announced the winner already on the LTD Khalil Mac video. So, if you want to see if it could have potentially been you, go check that video out because that is where I will be announcing the winner. And it already was announced. So, I know the winner. You will have to go check that video out. Now, to enter the giveaway as usual, all you do is subscribe to the channel, like the video, comment down below your, your console, and the secret word you heard throughout the video. Once you do all those things, you're entered to win. Good luck. Now, setting over to the market. So, first things first. Going into it, that is my binder. That is not the market. You can make that mistake sometimes. It's all good. Now, we're going over to the auction house. Let's go check out the 88 and the 87 overalls in that little range. I always like to start there. It's always a good indicator of what we're going to see throughout the whole market video. As you guys already know, 88s are like the groundhogs. If they're up, it's going to be a good. It's going to, it's going to be it's going to be an expensive day. If they're down, it's going to be a low day. 35k. They are a little bit up today. A little bit up compared to where they have been. I've seen them as low as 28k. So the market has been taking a little, a little it's been taking a better turn for the for some people to sell finally. I think. Let's let's find out. We have to obviously go up the ladder to really know the actual truth about it. So let's see. 90 overall cards. Let's see. What can we filter these out by? Let's filter out by legends. So the legends are at 90 overalls out of 66,000 coins. 75,000 for these. So the, these are actually staying pretty steady. Steve Young 78k. These have been really, really steady cards as of late. These haven't moved too much. And like I've been telling you guys, if you ever want to build a solid team, like if, you, if you're just coming in fresh off Christmas, you know, you're not spending money on the credit card. You just want to build a nice budgety team. Start buying these NFL legends. You could easily build a very, very good team just using these NFL legends right here. Quite simply, they're, they're very good cards still to this day. Steve Young could still be one of the better quarterbacks in Madden, fully powered up with the skate bars and dashing dead eye. Very simply, there's so much potential when it comes to that Steve Young, especially on a budget team. He was one of my budget, uh, one of my budget beasts actually, because he's just that good. Let's see the Mud Heroes real quick. 77k again. These guys are pretty cheap. If you're new to the game, by the way, remember you can still go back and play those solos where you get a free Mud Hero. Little advice for all you new players. I hope hopefully some guy just something a light bulb just clicked and they just ran back and played those. Go to the 92 to 93s though. This is where I want to sit and a lot of the, I want to sit for the actually no no no. Yeah, actually let's go. Let's go to the series redux. These are the wait hold up. What, what what's the overall of the series redux card? Yeah, it's right here. So Avery Williamson starting off 123k. These guys have been staying pretty steady. This Carson Wentz guy is one of the bigger disappointments as a Madden card. I remember when he first came out. If this card had, had um, if this card had, had 81 speed, he would have been one of the best quarterbacks in Madden at the time. Because powered up, he would have got escape artist, and I think he also would have got dashing dead eye as well. So that is one of the biggest reasons this card was hurt in terms of what he could have possibly done. Alvin Kamara, another disappointing card. A lot of these cards are pretty disappointing, but their price still remains similar because of training value and Redux value. Now, as we're going down, guys, one of the biggest turns of the of events on the market as of late, the Mutt 10 cards, if you guys haven't realized, they've all been getting upgrades. So, one little investment tip, guys, one little quick investment tip is maybe pick up a few of the old Mutt 10 Redux cards. And the cheapest one right now is looking like Julius Peppers. They've given almost all of them upgrades. They've given Deion Sanders an upgrade, Randy Moss an upgrade. They've given Michael Vick an upgrade. They've given Calvin an upgrade. They have Some of the guys they haven't given an upgrade yet has been Peppers and Gronk and, and Joe Thomas. So... Peppers and Gronk specifically are super, super cheap. And if you guys haven't seen, as you guys can look down here, all the Mutt 10 cards that have gotten upgrades have skyrocketed in price. So, for instance, Deion Sanders is 476. Michael Vick is 411. Randy Moss is 500k. Now, the reason for that is because you can't, so you can't power them up without those cards. So, a guy like Michael Vick, right? 96 over, one of the best quarterbacks in the game right now, or the best quarterback in the game. You gotta power him up. So, you're gonna need this Mutt 10 card or this Redux card. So, that's why he's super expensive. Next, Randy Moss. Everyone has a 95 overall power pass right now. So everyone's like, oh, I'm going to use my 95 overall power pass on the new Randy Moss. But wait, you need this card to power him up. 
so you can't use that power pass without him so people are spending 500k for this card which sucks and then same thing with Deion sanders his nfl 100 card you're gonna need this card to power him up so it's been very very annoying that fact it's been like we've had to do all of this just to get one card but on the bright side on the bright side for the time being there is still investment opportunity as you've seen since all these nfl 100 cards seem to have their number called out every few weeks with new cards you can imagine that these cards have probably getting upgraded at some point. Now, I mean, it could have just been the Ghost of Madden where they really just went all in and got all these guys upgrades. But I think Peppers might be getting an upgrade at some point, as well as Gronk. Gronk could be getting an upgrade as early as tomorrow, quite honestly. They did say unretire. Remember the unretire the snow shovel hint? And it was a picture in, in the background was Boston with Paul Revere on a horse. Boston is where the New England Patriots are from. It said unretire the snow shovel, which Gronk is retired. He is from Boston. He's from the Patriots. So, so you guys know there's a good, there's a decent chance that Gronkowski gets an upgrade and if he does and it's, if his stats are good remember if his stats suck i can't help you guys i can't i can't do anything about that but if his stats are at least decent or usable or exciting he will probably go up in price a little bit now 326 is still a little expensive see if you can find one in like the 200k range now here's the thing people probably already know about this because gronk was 200k before we, we uh a few of us youtubers made videos going over the potential gronk so people probably already know to buy him out but prior to that he was like 200k so if you have one of those gronks you might be in for some bank as soon as that actually does drop now let's check out the legends real quick before we head over to the 90 plus overall and 92, 93. Your word is Grinch. Comment down below the word Grinch. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, and comment your comments. I want you to do all this thing to win. Good luck. Above 92, 93, which is 94, 95 range. Guys, these base legends again, really, really good deal. One guy that I specifically liked from here was Keith Bullock at one point, but for, for my zone linebacking scheme, but he plays around as a linebacker, which kind of sucks because I could have really used him as a left outside. But other than that, I mean, I'm not a fan of too many cards here, but there are definitely some great cards. I honestly like the 90 Legends better than these, and then I like the newer Legends better than these. It's very funny. This was like a weird range of Legends that I really wasn't a fan of. That's probably because a lot of new promos are coming out while they came out, so they were left in the dust. That's the 94-95. Guys, if you need a budget beast running back, I mean, you can still get the NFL 100 ones because they're, they're super cheap now. Amon Green, solid running back. One of the best running backs in Madden. The only reason I can't even advise him as a budget beast anymore is only because... Hold up, actually... Dave Casper and Tillman actually went down pretty cheap. Still, again, wouldn't recommend any of these cards. Weren't great drops. But the reason I can't advise you against Amon Green as like the end-all, be-all budget back is only because Barry Sanders is now 270, as well as Eric Dickerson's like the 300k range. Now, I don't know if he went up at all. Oh, I hope he didn't go up. He was like 200, he was like 350k yesterday. But guys, there's some super cheap NFL 100 players. You need a top pass rushing left end. Reggie White, super cheap. Barry Sanders, one of the fastest guys in the game. Emmett Smith, I can't really advise you to use him. Joe Montana is honestly a really good pocket passer for his price, as well as Peyton Manning with the Omaha NFL 100 X Factor activated. Very glitchy. I don't think I'd recommend them as my main quarterback, but for all you pocket passer guys, definitely want to give those guys a look. Things are really cheap. NFL 100s have crashed. Some of the market has come up a little bit, but the NFL 100s are crashed. The Legends are crashed. And the Redux has actually went up. But a lot of the Redux went up only because they need to be used in power-ups and they're not exactly the easiest cards to obtain. Now, guys that are still retaining value are going to be the glitchy ones like LT, Randy Moss, Ronnie Lott. Now, guys, I'm going to be honest with you. My best advice, I wouldn't buy Ronnie Lott. I'd recommend you use your 95 power pass on Sean Taylor. Look at the Sean Taylor compared to him. Sean Taylor blows him away. The speed and excel is huge. I know he's powered up. Take that away, he's still huge. The play rec is similar. The pursuit is similar. The man is similar. The zone is similar. And the hit power is similar. But what the difference you get is 2 plus height with plus speed with plus excel. That's all you guys got to hear. That's literally it. And the catching's not too far apart either. And he, I think he's better in the run game. I'm pretty sure. Block shedding. Block shedding. 78, 79. Okay, they're similar in the run game. They're similar. They're very similar cards, but you get plus two height, which is huge for picks, for jumping the ball, for jumping the rod, I mean. And the speed difference is insane. Like, I'm telling you, this, this Sean Taylor is the, he's the answer at free safety right now. I'm telling you, use your power pass on him. And then for the NFL 100 players, probably better off buying. Sean Taylor is an LTD also. You kind of want to use your 95 power pass on guys like that. Or LTD that you can't really obtain otherwise because they're going to be way too expensive and too crazy of a price. Now, the NFL 100, like I said, are pretty cheap. We do have our, we obviously have our Ghost of Madden Pass guys, which I honestly think are great buys. I think they're great buys. Bo Jackson for 275k. I just want to let you guys know this Bo Jackson is probably the greatest card in Madden right now. On my team, he has a 97 speed. Look at those stats. He's pretty much take Barry Sanders, make him faster, make a baby with Eric Dickerson, make him stronger. And this baby is also, by the way, a man child of these two. He's even better than the parents. Like that is what Bo Jackson is, and he gets the bruising abilities, and he gets evasive abilities. He's, he's and he gets freight train. This card's an animal. Bo Jackson's amazing. Michael Strand's amazing. I have him, the best left end in the game probably Madden right now. As well as we get 
Let's see, we get Mel Blunt for super cheap, which is why I recommend you guys do the set. And on top of all that, you end up with a Michael Vick, who for the price is probably the best quarterback in the game. Guys, Michael Vick doesn't get dashing dead eye, but don't let that fool you. He makes insane throw on the runs. I've never seen a quarterback like that. I've never seen a quarterback without abilities that can throw on the run like that in Madden this year. Lamar can't throw on the run. It says he can, but he can't. Whenever I try to throw on the run with Lamar, it really doesn't work as well. But throwing the run with Vic, I'm telling you, fully powered up on my team. It's like a 97, 90 throw on the run. This Vic makes, he throws dimes on the run, just like he has dashing data. I love this Vic on the run. I think he's the best quarterback in Madden right now. And he definitely exceeds Lamar for the time being. Although Lamar's next card probably will be the greatest quarterback in the history of Madden. But yeah, this has been it for the video. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy. Remember, this is the 25 Days of Poodle Miss. If you want to enter, all you got to do is subscribe to the channel, like the video, comment down below the secret word, and your comments. What you listening to win. Good luck. See you guys later. Enjoy the rest of the day and all the vids I have coming for you. I'm out. Peace.